Julie, I love you. I can't live without you. You hardly know me. You don't know anything about me. I don't care. I love you. I can't live without you. Julie, I want you to marry me. But what about your father? My father doesn't know what love is. Besides, I don't care what he thinks. I love you. I think you love me too, don't you? Don't you? Lynn Culver, please. Wendy, online too. How are you, sugar? I'm sorry to bother you, darling. Bother me? We're beyond that, aren't we, Wendy? You know I'm always here for you. Listen, I, uh... If it's about Vegas, I understand if you can't come on Monday. I know it's short notice. Lynn, I'm pregnant. You want money? Is that why you're calling? No. <laughs> of course not. Lynn, I'm calling to tell you that I'm going to have your child. How do I know that? As far as I know, I'm only one of many in your life. You're the only one I see. <laughs> what else do you want, Wendy? Lynn, I'm not calling you about money. Don't you understand that? Why are you? I don't know. But Len Culver loves you, and he cares that you're having this baby, if it's his. You don't know that for sure, do you? I know it's his, and he has a right to know. He doesn't want to know. As far as Len Culver is concerned, you and this baby don't exist. Ah, I see. The furs, the jewelry, the declarations of love. You're smart enough not to fall for the lies. Well, I tried, but you did such a wonderful job convincing me that I was someone special to Len Culver. They cared. What you have forgotten, Wendy? Business. Len Culver bought you. He paid a price and he got what he wanted. A high-class prostitute. And then you can't forget what you are. I haven't. That's why I'm so successful. No. Let's get to the bottom line, shall we? The reason you're here today is because you're afraid you're going to lose your best girl. I'm pregnant, and if I stay pregnant, I can't work. Right, Lil? So you lose me. But maybe Lynn, too. Unless... Unless you have someone else to replace me. Yeah. Maybe Julie. Oh, she's nice, young, nymphette. Do you think you can make her as good as me, Lil? Oh, you are so cold. Then, um... Why don't you have this? Is fifty thousand. I don't want his money. If you're dumb enough to have a kid, be smart enough to at least give it something. Lil, are you all right? Sure. Come on in. How was it? Oh, it was wonderful. It was the most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, that should have a good time. Peter called. He said you were great. 
thrilled. He even uh, sent you a little something extra. I think you'd be pleased. I don't want the money. That's what this is all about, Julie. Justin loves me. He wants to marry me. He's a boy. You were the first woman he was with. Of course, he's going to say he loves you and wants to marry you. He does. You don't understand. I understand, I Julie. I've been there. I made the mistake once. I believed him. <laughs> I even thought he loved me. He would take me out of this life. Men don't marry prostitutes, Julie. You're wrong. Justin loves me, and he wants to marry me. That'll be 550. Can you wait until I see if he's there? Okay, but the meter's running. It's okay. I've already paid Lil. What are you doing here? I want to see Justin. He isn't home. Well, when will he be home? For you, never. But we had a date. Look. I don't know what kind of a game you're trying to pull, but my son doesn't date whores. Now, why don't you just be a good little girl and get lost? Above your wrist. You're dropping your racket head. Okay, sorry, that was too low. Thank you. Same grip, continental grip. Cool, good shot. Good shot. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Is that her? Gorgeous. Can't believe your old man. Just give anything to have a father like him. Yeah, hey, he's a heck of a guy. Yeah. What do you think he had to pay for? Her? Think I could? Will you shut up? Sorry. Surprise. Honey, can you do me a big favor? Can you fill in for me tonight? I'm a little under the weather. Sure, I can use the bread. Great. 7566 Oak Ridge. Be there at 8. What's his name? I don't know, but he's a very good friend of Senator Wells. Sure, why not? Don't be late. I won't. Will you have him call that number as soon as possible? It's urgent. You're what? I said I was leaving. Look, it happens to all of us. All working girls fall in love once in a while. You'll get over it. I don't want to get over it. I don't want to make love to a man for four days. Come away with nothing. 
$25,000. I don't call that nothing. I mean nothing inside. I feel like I don't exist. That I don't count. Like, he made love to someone else, and he fell in love with them. Only I wasn't even there. Look, you'll, you'll get used to it. You'll toughen up. No. It's too big a price. And for what? So I can wear fancy clothes and ride around to the limousine. Go on a fancy yacht. You left the farm in Nebraska. You didn't want to be a cashier. You didn't want to be a waitress. I'd rather be a waitress. Or a farmer or even a street hooker. At least they don't pretend to fall in love with you. You're a piece of meat. For five bucks or five thousand, there's no difference. And you still feel like nothing inside. Uh, this should cover some of your investment. It's your money. You earned it. I don't want it. Somehow, not taking the money makes it a lot easier to live with. Hi. Hi. We've been looking forward to this. Just past one. Uh, Lil, I'm watching the late news, and a girl was killed in a house on Oak Ridge. Now, this is what we have so far. Around midnight, neighbors in this quiet hillside community heard a woman scream for help. Oh, no. When police arrived at this rented house here on Oak Ridge, they found the body of a young woman. Now, oh, the my God. He said that he could not determine immediately the cause of death. I never checked him out. Not speculate. That cause may he used Wells' name. I thought he was all right. You never checked him out? No, I tried. A short time ago, Wells was gone. He never got Frank back to Baxter, me. Who was the first person to arrive here oh, my God. Crime. He told me that when he found the victim, he was viewed, lying in the empty living room, bound and gagged. Now, the police say they cannot confirm her identity, but it seems they have some evidence. That leads them to suspect that she might be a high-class prostitute. It was not Claudia. It was April. April? <sighs> I sent Claudia. How dare she? Why didn't she call me like she was supposed to? I mean, all my girls know my rules. Claudia's been flaky. <laughs> I should never have taken her back. What about April? 
Doesn't it matter to you? She's lying in that morgue. It's part of the job. It's a risk a girl takes every time she walks in the room with a stranger. I thought you protected them. That's why you have this great reputation. Pat. Once the word's on the street that April was one of my girls, my business is over. No one will ever trust me again. Is your reputation the only thing you care about? It's all I have. You have money. What more do you want? I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know who I am anymore. Hold me. I'm scared. I did love you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What did you know about love? Nothing. But you even less. You were too busy hating yourself to believe anyone could love you. I already know the answer. She insisted that you wouldn't mind. Claudia, I came by to show you my new car. I figured if I was going to be a class act, I should drive a classy car. What happened tonight, Claudia? I wasn't feeling well. So I called April to fill in. I thought she was smart enough to handle it. Why didn't you call me? I don't know. I just decided to take care of it myself. I didn't think it was any big deal. I think you've had enough, Claudia. I've just begun. See, you have to drink enough. So that whatever feeling there is goes away. You know that feeling, don't you, Lil? It's kind of a cold numbness where nothing matters. Look, you know my rules. You know the way I operate. Well, maybe I didn't feel like following them. <laughs> April is dead because of you. Me? You're the one who messed up, Lil, not no. me. It's your fault that April's dead. And it could have been me. You're losing it. You're not as careful as you used to be. You used to protect your girls. You never sent us out unless you carefully checked the guy out. It's over, Lil. <laughs> Feeling? <laughs> Another flaw in the great Lil Hutton. Horbs don't have feelings, Lil. <laughs> That's what we give up when we sell ourselves. That's why they pay us the big money. Money wasn't the only thing I wanted. Money is all it's about. That's all this is about. No. Answer it. What's wrong? You can't take it anymore? The business too tough for you? Go ahead. Answer it. You 
enjoy Claudia. Answer it. You want to be the new Beverly Hills madam? You want to be me? You want to make big money? Buy the fancy cars. Buy the expensive clothes. Go ahead. Answer it, Claudia. Oh, it's easy. Whores don't have feet. <laughs> now, all you have to do is take some girls to in the street, give them a little class, and sell them like I sold you. You can have it all, Claudia. You're gonna have to do it on your own. Like I did. Hello? No, this isn't Lil. But I can take care of it. What kind of girl did you have in mind? I have someone I think you'll like. She's quite exceptional. Oh, I'm sure you will be very satisfied. My fee is a thousand. Of course my girls deserve it. They're the best. 